Hi, man. One of the things everybody loves to know about the market is what are the whales buying? So we talk about whales, we talking about asset managers, we talking about the Warren Buffets, the Bill Ackmans, uh, rest in peace with the Charlie Mungas. We talk about the Monet's Prabrides. We talk about the people that move the market one way or another, man. And so y'all ask and we coming back, we're gonna keep on hitting y'all with these because we won't put y'all in the game. So what the whales are buying. Let's get to it, man. So before we get into it, I want you to like, I want you to subscribe to the channel. Also tell us below what you like, what we can do to help you get better on this wealth building journey. You did. So then we're gonna break down three, three of the whales in the game. Uh, first up, we're gonna talk about Howard Marks. Now Howard Marks has a fund, uh, Oak Tree Capital Management, right? They have 57 positions, they have Five billion six hundred and seventy-eight million two hundred and forty-four thousand of portfolio value. Now, as I before I get any further about Howard Marks, Howard Marks have two books that we know about. One of them is the most important thing. It's a stock book. It's a good book. I've read it. And another one which is pretty good is Mastering the Market Cycle. I think you need to check those two books out. I don't have an Amazon link or nothing like that. I'm just saying I read the book. And Howard Marks is pretty good. So some of his sales this year, with this quarter, last quarter was, uh, he reduced by 36% his position in Hims and Hers Health. That's right, he sold 386 1,225 shares. He still has a 0.10%, so it's a small percent that he sold. Uh, and the value, let's get what the value is of that. Let's get what the value of that is. So he has, he still has 666,000 shares. His average buy-in price for it is $15, and it's still worth $10 billion. Still worth $10 billion fund, right? Uh, next off, he sold Chesapeake Energy. He sold, uh, it represents 10% of his portfolio. He sold 0 0.23, so almost a quarter percent. He still has 6 billion, 6 million shares, 6,984,000 shares worth $620 billion, million dollars, I'm sorry. Uh, next, he sold 77, so he almost exited this position, 77% of NMI holdings. That's right, he still has a million shares, average buy-in price is $32 uh, of what he bought for. So let's see what he bought though. Let's see what he bought, let's see what he bought. What do we like that he bought? 15, his biggest buy was 15% of a company, AZUL. Uh, let's see what that is. Let's see what that company is. Let's see what that company does. We got to see what they doing with their money. We want to see what they doing with it, and we want to see what they do. A-Z-U-L. Uh, holding company which engages in the provision of airline, passenger, and cargo services. The firm services features include passenger seat selection, leather seats, individual entertainment screens, and free live television. I don't know, how. I don't know if that was a good one. You added 15% of that at $7 a share. It's $3 now. I don't like that one, brother. I don't like that one. HTH Worldwide, he bought 12.35% of that. Uh, now has, he now has a million two in shares. One million, 1.2 million shares, average price uh, $28 when he got in. Average price is $28 when he got in. All right, not mad at that. So that's Howard Marks, man. Ah, biggest one is Val, V-A-L-E. Okay, I know about this company here. I know about this company here. All right, production and exploration of oil, uh, iron ore, and iron alloys, right? So he purchased at $12, he bought it 22%, uh, added that, so you have 11 million shares of 516, Average price was $12.19, got $140 million worth. So that was Carl Marx. All right, so we see what he doing over there. All right, next on our list, y'all, we got Pat Dorsey. Now, Pat Dorsey has 10 stocks, that's it. Uh, $860 million fund, right? Pat Dorsey is also the senior strategist for Morningstar. 
Um, they have Pat Darcy Asset Management, but also he has a book that I would recommend. It's called A Little Book That Builds Wealth. Definitely a great book. I read it, right? So let's see. Pat reduced Meta by 25%. It's 16% of his portfolio. You still have 287,000 shares. Last he sold at 515 was when he sold. Not bad at that. Uh, let's go. He reduced Google by 1%. So he reduced Meta by 25%. He reduced Google by 1%. He still have 846,000 shares. Uh, he reduced Wix. Damn, Pat went on a, a selling spree. He reduced his position in Wix. It makes up 12%. He sold 1.33%. He has 755,000 shares. PayPal, he reduced by 1.32%. It makes up 9.4% of his portfolio. Uh, it sold at $63. DHR, why you sell that, Pat? So DHR at 1.23%, it makes up 9% of his portfolio, has 310,000 shares. And then Upwork, he sold, it makes up 3% of his portfolio, he has 2.7 million shares, average price sold is $27. Now, he added AutoZone, he added AutoZone, he has 23,000 shares of AutoZone, and S-M-E-R, S-M Rush Holdings, he added 37%. Let's see what they do, y'all. Let's see what they do. Okay, it is a holding company with engages in provision of online visibility management software as a service platform. Okay, I don't like that buy. But that's what he did, y'all. I don't know, Pat. I don't really like you sold, but you still have big positions in Meta, Google, Wix. So that's what Pat did. All right, now. Let's look at our guy, Bill Ackman. So Bill has Persian Square, uh, Persian Square Capital Management. We know Bill was trying to go public with his company, and then he took it off the, he took it off the, uh, the works. I wonder why he did that. Uh, but let's look, man. Bill has seven stocks. He has a portfolio worth ten billion dollars. Ten billion with a B, right? So let's see what Bill did. The only thing Bill did was sold some of Chipotle. He sold 9% of Chipotle um, at $55. All right, he owned, it makes up 20% of his portfolio. Uh, he has 37 million shares. Also, he has Hilton Worldwide. That makes up 18%. He didn't sell none of that. QSR Restaurant Brands, that's what Popeyes is under that, and Burger King is under that. Um, ninth, at 17% of his portfolio. He has Google that makes up 13% of his portfolio. Google, he has 1.4 um, million, 1.4 billion is the value with 9 million shares. Howard Hughes Holdings, Canadian Pacific, Kansas City. Uh, and then he has Google again. So he has Google C and Alphabet A. So he has Google, I wonder why he owns both of those, right? Um, but that's Bill Ackman, man. So this week, our our wills didn't do too, too much, but they were a little active. Um, I think Bill probably had the best play with just selling some of Chipotle, and then he gonna ride that out. That is our wills this week. We gonna break, we broke down three wills. We see y'all like that, so we gonna start giving y'all some will watches every week, man. We see y'all really tuned in and tapped into that, man. So let's go, man. Let us know in the chat how you like it. Let us know in the chat what we can do to help you move forward. I'll go to help you navigate the market, understand what the will's doing, but understand how we can move as well. Uh, also, make sure you tune into our show, Trapping Tools, each and every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. It's your boy, the Wall Street Traveler. Salute.